over the point guard duties now. He'll bring it up right wing. Dribbles free throw line. Comes up on top. Goes to Wilhelmy. Left side rested. Looks in for Benita. And Benita has the entry pass knocked away from behind. Knocked away that time by Broughton. Turnover on the Cardinals. Their third. Up top of the key. Mitchell back with it for the Cubs. Goes left side of Tyler Johnson. Doesn't take the three. Goes down to the baseline of Broughton. Lang. It is rotated into a 2-3 zone. Left wing with it. Mitchell in the corner. Broughton. Broughton up on top of the key to Mitchell. Double team now goes back to Broughton. Bobby from three-point land. That's up. That's in and out. Rebound comes out long to Rested. Rested runs it up the left side for Langdon. Comes on a wing. Tries to dribble around. Rested for Langdon. Wanted to go right back to Lawrence. He wasn't looking for the pass, and it's stolen easily by Kekla. Kekla to Johnson inside. Lindahl fires it off the glass and 10. It's good. Evan Lindahl with four. I get a little careless of the basketball the last couple of times down, and it's cost him 12 to 6 now. Candu leading with one and a half left to go here in the first quarter. Will Helmy dribbles all the way down court, and he is going to get a basket, but he's again a six point lead for Candu. They've got the ball again with 128 to go here in this first quarter. Cackler across the timeline, looking down deep. He's got Broughton. Broughton has it knocked away from behind, but the inbounds comes right to Lindahl. Triple team goes off the glass anyway from six. It's good. Evan Lindahl with six points now in this first quarter. 14 to six. A seven, I should say 9-0 actually, run by the Cubs. And that's into there as Lawrence finds Ring down court. Steve Ring puts it away. He's got four. 14-8. Back comes Lindahl. And he'll jam one home for the Cubs down court. Langdon didn't get back defensively. And now eight points for Evan Lindahl. 16-8 the score. Up top of the key, Furious. Left side, Lawrence. 51 seconds to play in the first quarter. Plots over right side. Goes out to Furious. And now the Cardinals are going to try to hold it for one shot with 45 seconds left. As Pirius gets a pass to Lawrence. 40 seconds to go. Lawrence over to Wilhelmy. Cardinals again trying to hold it for one, trailing 16-8 here in the first quarter. Lawrence with it as Tyler Johnson right there with him. Now looks for help, goes right side of Pirius. 25 seconds to go as Pirius goes to Plotz. Dustin Plotz. To Pirius, 15 seconds over left side it comes to Lawrence, and now he'll try to go to work, and he'll draw a blocking foul. Looks for Wilhelmy, but the ball's tipped by Mitchell, but Wilhelmy gets it anyway, goes right back to Plotz. Eight seconds to go, Dustin on the baseline, wanted ring, ball knocked away, stolen. Oh no, it's gonna be on the ground, but they're gonna call a foul, it appears. That's his, they get it to Lindahl. Four seconds to go, Lindahl up from three-point land, it's up, it's too hard, rebound tipped up by Bratton at the buzzer, and that won't go either. With a score on hand with you for boys basketball tonight, can do leading Langdon. After 116 to eight, Langdon has the first possession now to start the second quarter. Up top of the key, it's Lawrence. Lawrence, and it goes to Pirius. Can do it a man-to-man -man defense. And Langdon's had a tough time solving. Steve Ring back on the bench. His left side of pass goes to Lawrence. Dribbles down the delay. Shot around Lindahl. Partially blocked by Evan Lindahl. And he ends up with a basketball. He'll get it out now to Brandon Martz, who's checked back in for the second quarter for the Cubs. Ball right corner to Darren Schock, who's also back in. Tyler Johnson sits down. And so does Bobby Broughton. Burrish is back in for the Cubs, too. On the baseline is Bennett, a turnaround from 10. I should say a shot by Lindahl over Bennett. Pardon me. And the shot's short from 12 feet. Rebound comes out to Bennett up. Court to Pirius. Nice fake in the lane for a shot from seven. Won't go, but he'll be fouled. And step to the line. The foul to come against Brandon Martz. Brandon will pick up his first four team fouls against the Cubs. So Langdon now trying to crawl back in. They trail by 8, 16 to 8 with 7.20 to play now, second quarter. Here is his first shot. That's on the way and good. Chad's first point tonight. He's a 5'6 junior. Ryan Gibbons will come back in for Candy. Lindahl will step out. And Pirius will get one more shot. Again, Steve Ring started the game tonight, but now in foul trouble, he's got three. And he'll sit out, you'd think, most of this quarter. 16 to 10 as Pirius puts in his second. 7'18 to go in the second quarter. Burrish goes up top of the key to Shock. Left side, Kekla goes inside to Brandon Martz. He's double teamed on the baseline. Goes back out to Kekla. Right side, Burrish had an open look from three, but Plotz came out on there on him. Couldn't get it. He had the ball knocked away from behind by Lawrence, but it ends up in Kekla's hands on the left side of things. He'll go back right to Burrish, right over to Kekla. Brings it left wing, looks at the lob, pass one to the back door to Martz, but it hit the rim. The ball ends up in the hands of Lawrence all the way down. Court layup is good. Corey Lawrence has on his four points. And Langdon right back in it, trailing 16 to 12. Kekla comes up, goes over left side of Burrish. Burrish looks down in. Can't find it, has Pirius right there with him. Right side with it, Kekla. Kekla to Burrish. Inside shock, Darren Shock dribbles around Benita, and he's going to draw a foul on Matt Benita. Won't get a shot to go in, but Benita is going to pick up his first personal on Matt, his first four team fouls against the Cardinals. So the line will go Darren Shock. 
Darren, two points tonight. He's a 6'3 senior. Boy, he's really been a spark plug for this Cubs team this year. The shot puts in his first one. He's got three. Everyone thought that Evan Lindahl would be uh, just the man for Cantu all year, and he's definitely been uh, scoring a lot of points, but Darren Schock has really been kind of the catalyst for this Cubs team this season as the second one goes in as well. 18 to 12, and back to a six-point advantage for the Cantu Cubs. A little bit of three-quarter court pressure now put on by the Cubs as Lawrence comes up against it. Looks for a pass over left side, trying to go to Plotz, throws it away. Lawrence throws a pass out of bounds, six turnovers now against the Cardinals, their first however this quarter. So 6.23 to play in the first half. Back come the Cubs over left side to the Kekla. Zach looking around, looking to go to Gibbons' free throw line. Left corner, Brandon Marks can't get a three out. Goes back to the free throw line to Gibbons. Ball knocked away by Lawrence, I should say, but Kekla gets it at the half line. She Gibbons at the free throw line. He almost loses it. Goes to Kekla, right side to Burrish. Burrish looking to Shock. Shock goes inside to Gibbons. Gibbons turn around on Benedict, but they're going to call Benedict for a foul on the shot, it looks like. Nope, they're going to call a foul away from the ball on Casey Wilhelm. He's trying to knock the ball away from behind. It'll just be uh, Casey's first personal, but it will be two shots at the line. Apparently, they did call it on Gibbons' shot. Ryan again, a 6'3 senior. First shot up on the way and short. He will, however, get another 18 to 12, a six point lead for Candu. As Chris Restead checks back in, Wilhelm, he comes out for the Cardinals. Again, Steve Ring on the bench in foul trouble for Langdon with three. And the second shot now, ready, ready pardon me, by Ryan Gibbons. And Linda also gets ready to check in for the Cubs. Second shot by Gibbons is good, and Linda now will come back in. Evan will check in, and Ryan Gibbons will come out. I should mention Aaron Mitchell has also checked in for the Cubs. Coming out has been Steve Burrish. So a little three-quarter court pressure again put on by Candu, and a pass up court. Plotz is going to throw it away. Cardinals usually not ha don't have too much trouble with their ball handling, but they're definitely not in it tonight, at least in this first half. 5.53 to go in the second. 19 to 12, and Gary Shower is not happy with his Cardinals. Again, Candu leading by seven. They've got the ball. 19 to 12 as the score. Cubs lead by seven. Back with more in 30 seconds. All right, good to go. Uh, again, the second 20-second timeout that Gary Showers used tonight for Langdon. He still has all three of his full timeouts left as Corey Lawrence knocks the ball away from Zach Kackle out of bounds. It'll still be Candu ball. Can Candu a seven-point lead and the basketball as Darren Schock looks to throw it in. Does so right side, brings it there. To Kackle, back to Schock inside. Lindahl turn around from eight, rolls around, drops through. One roll, no coffee that time for Evan Lindahl. He's got 10. Again, three-quarter court pressure, 1-2-2 two, two style put on by the Cubs. As quickly, this time Langdon finally breaks pressure down court. They get a pass to Bennett on the baseline. Matt will go from 10, no good. Rebound tipped into the hands of Lindahl. Three on two break for the Cubs. As Lindahl's got it inside, he's going to be called for an offensive foul against Chad Pierius. Lindahl called for an inside, and that'll be Evans' first personal. Five team fouls against the Cubs. Steve Ringo check back in for Langdon. Steve playing at three personals, comes on with 5.25 to go here in the second quarter. He's back on the Cardinals, left side rest at. Up on top, there's Plotz. Each time he fakes a three, goes left side, Pierius. Pierius looks inside, looking to dish to ring, can't find him, goes to Plotz. He'll fly a three, that's up, that's just short. Rebound comes off into the hands of Aaron Mitchell for the Cubs. Aaron looking to get it across the timeline, does so left side to Shock. To Lindahl. Turn around to the baseline from 12. No good. Too hard. Rebound taken by Kekla, however, on the weak side for the Cubs. Inside of Broughton. Back to Kekla. Zach from three point land. That's in and out and back in. Three pointer by Zach Kekla. And it's 24 to 12 now, leading by a dozen. Are the Cubs and leading by double digits for the first time tonight. Lawrence, top of the key for Langdon. Goes left side to Rested. Rested in the corner to fly to a Pirius, pardon me. Pirius to dribble up. He'll take a 16 footer. That's no good. Short. And a foul is going to be called. Uh, against the Cubs, or is it, nope. It's going to be called against the Cardinals on the rebound, and Chris Restead. That'll be Chris's first personal. 16 fouls against Langdon. As Tyler Johnson, the 5'10 freshman, will check in again for the Cubs. Comes across the timeline. Goes left side to Mitchell. Mitchell inside to Lindahl. Lindahl has the ball knocked away from behind. Tries to pick it up, and he's going to be fouled. Looks like by Pirius. Region foul will be called on Chad Pirius. That'll be his first. Seven team fouls now against the Cardinals. It'll be free throws here for Evan Lindahl. Darren Schock will 
come out of the game. Brandon Marsh back in for Candu. Evan Lindahl to the line to shoot one of the chance for two. Her shot's up and good. Lindahl with 11 points. Again, did not start tonight, but the only reason is because parents' night and Mark Lindahl, Evan's dad and coach of the Cubs, wanted to start all five seniors this evening. Second shot by Evan Lindahl, in and out. No good. Rebound Steve Ring. Ring has seen little action, limited action, I should say, tonight, and not because he, of his foot. He's just been in foul trouble as Lawrence travels down inside. Dribbles around a couple of uh, defenders, I should say, and gets a hoop. 25 to 14 is the score. Candu leading by 11. Left side to the Tyler Johnson. Up on top to Brandon Martz. Martz dribbles up free throw line. Goes right side to Mitchell. He'll fly a three. That's up. No good. Too hard. Rebound taken by Ring. Ring the outlet pass to Dustin Plotz. Up court to Lawrence. Flagged it out with an opportunity to cut the Cubs lead to single digits. Over left side goes. Wanted to find Pirius. Pirius cut in with Lawrence. Passed it. Rest had a great save, though, to save it in for Langdon. Saves it back to Lawrence. He's got a right wing. Bounce pass up top of the key to Rested. Right side, Lawrence, he'll fly a three. Tough three-pointer as he had Tyler Johnson right in his face that time, and the shot's going to be way short and out of bounds. Didn't get a piece of anything. Jeremy Dinius, a 5'8 freshman, will check in as Gary Shower looking for something to click for the Cardinals here in this first half. 3.41 to play in the second quarter. Again, 25-14, Cubs lead by 11. As coming across the timeline is Aaron Mitchell. Goes top of the key to Lindahl. Nice quick pass to Broughton. He's got the layup. Good job beating pressure down court of the Cubs as Bobby Broughton, his first two. Can't do their biggest lead of the night at 13. 27 to 14 is the score. Left uh, corner with it. Will Helmy looking for the lob into ring. That's knocked away by Mitchell. Taken by Broughton. And another turnover against the Cardinals. Eight on them here in this first half. Up court now Mitchell. Left corner to Evan Lindahl. Evan, nice drive around. Plot dribbles baseline. 14 footer good. Kevin Lindahl putting it in, 29 to 14 now the score. As Langdon again comes across with it is Lawrence up top of the key. Right side plots. Plots to Corey Lawrence. Dribbles around one defender and he'll draw blocking foul on Tyler Johnson. That'll be his second. Six team fouls against Candu, so this will not be the bonus for Langdon. However, they will be there after the inbound. Substitutions, Darren Shock, Zach Kackler coming in for Candu, coming off. Brandon Martz and Aaron Mitchell. Langdon inbounds beneath their own hoop, and to do so is Lawrence. Lawrence looks a bounce pass, right side comes Will Helmy. Will Helmy cross court pass back left side. It's Plotz, who's got Lindahl on him, can't get off a three. Goes up top of the key. Bounce pass right side to Lawrence. Lawrence up on top, Will Helmy. Left side Plotz, dribbles down to the left corner. On top to Will Helmy. Right side, Dinius. Dinius on top. It goes to Plotz. He'll fly a three. That's up. That missed everything again. Saved in, however, was the shot by Dinius. However, saves it into Candu's hands, and the, the ball's going to be knocked away. A long pass down court by the Cubs. Broke it up by Plotz. So Langdon gets it back as they go down into Dinius, and Jeremy Dinius has got the hoop. His first two. It might have been ring, too. They're both right there on the play. 29-16. As a quick pass in by the Cubs, this was knocked away by Ring. Into Lawrence's hands, three on three break. Lawrence all the way down court, has Lindahl to beat. Almost a hook shot by Lawrence that time, he can't get it to go. Rebound Lindahl down court to Broughton. Broughton's layup, short. And a foul of the rebound is going to come to Jeremy Dinius. So Dinius is called for the foul, his first 18 fouls against the Cardinals. And this will be the one and one for Bobby Broughton. Bob will come up, 158 to play now second quarter, 29 to 16, a 13 point lead for Candu. Actually, Zach Kakla, pardon me, was going in on the rebound there, Dinius will go to the line. Zach Kakla with a three pointer in this second quarter, his only points of the night. Lindahl comes out, Gibbons comes back in for the Cubs. And the shot for the line by Kakla is up and no good. Rebound comes off to Ring, long pass down, looking for Dinius, has him. Dinius, quick pass to Wilhelm, he off his hands. And that's going to be stolen away by the Cubs. Coming up with it is Broughton. Down court to Shock. Shock almost loses the ball back. He had it knocked away by Lawrence. The Cardinals can't keep it in bounds, though. And Candu will keep it. 147 to play second quarter. Darren Shock at the inbounds. Bounce pass to Kakla. And Zach will bring it across the timeline for Candu. Over right side down to the corner goes Gibbons. The pass. Ryan back out. Where it comes there to Kakla. Zach up top of the key. Has Lawrence right on his... Pocket that time, so he gets it to Gibbons. Nice quick pass into Darren Shock, and Shock got around a defender to get a hoop. Darren Shock, six points in the first half. 31 to 16, Candy leading by 15 points. 120 left to play here in the second quarter. As Will Honey looking for Ring, and Ring is going to be, nope, they're going to call it for pushing off on Gibbons, trying to get a pass. 
Steve Ring has just now picked up four personal fouls here in this first half of play. Come out, Wilhelm, he also comes out for the Cardinals, who's back in as Chris Reste. So Steve Ring, Jerry Sauer saying in the free game show, it could be a little bit frustrating for him in his first game in a month. And it certainly has been that in this first half. He has four points, but four fouls to go with him. Shot from the line by Gibbons on the way and good. Ryan now two of three from the line tonight. Those have been his two points on the night so far. 118 to go in the second quarter. Gibbons second shot. That's up. That's no good. Rebound comes off to Matt Benedict. Benedict gets the outlet pass to Lawrence. Cardinals on the run. 114 to go. They trail 32-16. Left corner rest dead. Flies a three. It's up. That's too hard. Langdon still without a three-pointer here in this first half. And they've tried a number of them. But can do down court. Brandon March looking for Kakla. Throws it away. Five turnovers against the Cubs. And Langdon out another shot. 105 to go in the second. The Cardinals trying to get at least nibble the 16-point lead. Cub lead down a little bit before halftime. Top of the key, Lawrence. Free throw line. They looks for a quick pass into Benita. He's got it. Benita is going to be fouled going up. And the foul will be called against Ryan Gibbons. Nope, it's going to be called against Darren Schock. Both he and Gibbons in on the play. Nonetheless, the result in free throws by Matt Bennett of the 6'4 sophomore. He's not scored tonight. He's looking for his first uh, points of the evening. Never, has not been to the line either. This is his first shot's up and good. Chad Perry is a check in now for Langdon. And coming off will be Dustin Plotz. Aaron Mitchell on the inbounds for the Cubs. Broughton will come out. 55 seconds left to go, 32 to 17. Can do by 15 points. Second shot by Bennett, up and good. Splashes a couple in and it'll bring the Cubs lead down to 14 as Cantor brings it back across. Darren Shock, center court goes to Martz. Martz has Dinius all over him, trying to get it across the timeline. It just does so. Nice pass down court to Zach Kekla who got free. He got behind the Langdon defense. And Kekla with the hoop. He's got five. 34 to 18. Langdon coming up again. Lawrence over right side. Dinius. Jeremy Dinius to rest it. He loses the ball for a moment, picks it up, and goes to Pirius. Pirius back up on top. Right side, Dinius. Looking for Lawrence, almost a steal by Kekla. Lawrence gets it back, flies a three, it rolls off. Rebound, Darren Schock. And Schock's gonna be tied up by Lawrence down underneath. But the possessioner will go to Candu nonetheless. They'll get it back to Steve Burrish. Checks back in a 5'10 senior. Ryan Gibbons will come off. 22 seconds to play in the second quarter. As Candu up across the timeline, quick pass goes to Burrish. Burrish has Schock with him. He'll stop and pop a three-pointer. It's good, and he's fouled. In the hole goes the three, and a foul on Corey Lawrence. What a shot by Burris. He now has six, two three-pointers on the night, and Lawrence is first person to foul. 37 to 18. Candu leading by 19 points with 17 seconds to play here in this first half. As Brandon Martz will check in, Evan Lindahl, or I should say Brandon Martz will come off, Lindahl checks in for him. Here is seconds to go in the second quarter. March, or I should say Steve Burrish down to the line to try to complete what would be a four-point play, and it's no good. He gets his own rebound inside, goes off the glass, it's good. Burrish goes right down the center of the court, and that ends up being a five-point play, 39 to 18. Comes by 21 with 10 seconds to go as Lawrence dribbles to the free throw line. He'll pop in a shot from there, he's got eight. 39 to 20, and a shot down court by the Cubs. Long shot, no good, and that'll end things. And an outstanding one for the Candu Cubs. Right to counter into Corey Lawrence, Chad Furious the guards. Dustin Platts, actually Casey Wilhelm, he starts for Justin Robel here in the second half. And Steve Ring playing to this four fouls is still in there for Langdon. Up top of the key, Furious. With it as the Cardinals get it started. Furious with it, hounded there closely by Burrish. Goes left side to Platts. Plotz looks in for Ring, can't find him. Up top of the key, Wilhelm, he drives down the right side of the lane. Back out, he fires a pass to Furious. Chad drives inside, tough shot inside. Whoa. Uh, against Bobby Broughton, and Bob will pick up his first. And that'll be the first team foul on either squad here in the second half. So Chad Perius go to the line for two shots. Again, Candu leading by 19 points. The first shot up and good by Perius. Chad, three of three from the line. That's where all three of his points have come thus far tonight. Second shot on the way, and good. So Langdon out to within 17 as Gibbons to inbound for the Cubs. He's looking. Langdon really turning up the heat defensively. Gibbons just does get it in before a five-second call. Goes up to Burrish. 
Burris long pass down court, picked up by Lawrence. Cubs turn it over. Lawrence all the way to, coming down court. Three on two break. Pass out to the ring, and Ring has his shot blocked from behind by Chalk. And the ball ends up in the hands of Martz. Martz over right side, goes to Burris. Inside Gibbons. Gibbons goes in on Ring. Shot off the glass of six, no good. Rebound knocked away from Lawrence into the hands of Broughton. He'll put a basket in, and he's fouled. Bobby Broughton with a hoop in the arm. Corey Lawrence will pick up a second personal. That's the first team foul against Langdon. So Broughton now will go to the line to try to complete the three-point play. The shot up and good. Broughton will make it a 20-point game, 42-22. 7.04 to play here in this third quarter. Lawrence up top of the key for the Cardinals. Started there closely by Martz. Goes left side to Furious. Looked at the 16-footer. Didn't take it. Goes high up the glass and 10. No good. Rebound is going to be out of bounds. Last touch with 6.52 to play here in this third quarter. Is the inbound shock. Has almost has it stolen by Plotz. Gets it up court, though. Goes to Burrish. Burrish center court to Broughton, who's got ring to beat. Ring cannot to go up against it. Shot no good off the glass of seven. But Gibbons gets his own rebound down to the left corner. Goes up top of the key to shock ball. Knocked away by Wilhelmy. Now Lawrence had it. And it ends up into the hands. Martz comes back out of there with it. Martz up to Broughton, hands it off to Gibbons. Layup is good. Ryan Gibbons, four points, 44 to 22. Can do on top. Is Langdon coming back across the half line, right side of the Pirius. Free throw line, Will Hummy. Casey dribbles up, takes one from 14. It's good. Casey Will Hummy with four points now. And it's 44 to 24. Back to a 20 point lead. Martz to the half line, goes to Broughton. Broughton over to Burrish. Burrish, right side, brings it there to Shock. Shock a bounce pass in, and it goes inside of Broughton, and Broughton's going to be fouled coming up from behind. Chad Pirius is going to be called for the personal foul. Pirius is second, two team fouls against Langdon. Six minutes to play in the third. Again, a 20-point lead for Candu, 44-24. Inbounds becomes right corner to Shock. He'll fly a three, and it's in the hole. Nine points for Darren Shock, 47-24. Back come the Cardinals. Lawrence, top of the key. Dribbles around one defender. Dribbles around two and goes in for the hoop. Ten points for Corey Lawrence. 47-26. As Candu back with it again. Marks behind the back. Dribble to get around Lawrence. Comes right side. Bounce pass. Nice pass off to Burrish. He'll get a basket. Burrish with ten points. 49-26. Cards back across. Lawrence. Free throw line goes to Plotz. Left wing. Back to Corey Lawrence. Corey dribbles around a couple of defenders. Goes in for a shot. No good, but a foul. And he called against Ryan Gibbons. The foul against Gibbons just his first. Two team fouls against the Cubs. Head to the line will go Corey Lawrence for two shots. Lawrence with 10 points on the night. With 10 points and has not been to the line, however. His first shot will be up and it'll roll off. Boy, Corey is not... Uh, Not had a, uh, his night of nights as have had any of the Cardinals this evening. There's now Evan Lindahl, Zach Kakla, Aaron Mitchell will check back in for the Cubs. Coming off are Burrish, Martz, and Broughton. 49 to 26 as Lawrence shoots his second free throw. That's up, that's no good. Rebound comes out to Lindahl, pass up court, goes to Shock. Darren Shock looks baseline to Kakla. Up on top goes to Lindahl. Lindahl over right side, baseline. He'll go off the glass and 12, it's good. Kevin Lindau with 15, 51 to 26. And it is a 25 point lead for the Cubs as Ring goes out to Pirius. Pirius free throw line down to the corner, goes to Chris Restead. Restead into Lawrence. Lawrence dribbles around, goes out the glass and six shot, no good. Rebound comes off to Ryan Gibbons. Gibbons down court, looks up to Aaron Mitchell, finds him. Mitchell across the timeline. 448 to play. Kankalo in the left corner. Nice pass to Gibbons and Ryan, a quick pass up and in. 53 to 26. Candu continues to pour it on. Right side, Restead kicks it back out to Lawrence. Lawrence free throw line drives down in, takes on the 13. That rolls off off the back rim, no good. Rebound Gibbons, looking down court for Lindahl. Passed too far for him, but is picked up by Kakwa. Goes back to Lindahl, up and good from 10. What a pass from Kakwa to Lindahl. 55 to 26. Right side with it, coming up is Pirius for Langdon. Top of the key, Wilhelmy. Will Hummy to Restead. 
Rest dead free throw line to Wilhelmy. Up and under move, it's a shot blocked for by that time, a 14-footer blocked by Lindahl. Pass goes to Collins up in the hands of Mitchell. Pass up court to uh, Lindahl that side goes into Darren Shock. His shot no good, but a foul will come against Chris Restad. His second, three team fouls against the Cardinals. 357 to play third quarter. All can do. 55 to 26. And out of the line will go Darren Shock for two shots. Darren with nine points so far in the night. Make that double figures for Darren Shock as he puts in his first to the line. He's now three of three for the line tonight. Jeremy Dinius, Dustin Plotz comes out for, come in for the Cardinals, I should say, Steve Ring, and Casey Wilhelm, he check out. So Bob Rotten will come back in for Candu coming off his Gibbons. 3.57 to play third quarter, a 30-point lead for the Cubs. Second shot's on the way and good. Two from the line by Darren Schock, make it 57 to 26. Eighteen to six. Candu's outscored Langdon here in this third quarter. Three fifty-three to play. Cardinals try it again. Left side of the Dinius. And up on top it goes to Lawrence. Right side Restead. Restead to Dinius. On top to Plotz. Wide open for a trade. That's on the way. That's short. Out. Barely gets the rim. Lawrence to the rebound. His shot rejected by Lindahl. Four blocks for Evan Lindahl in the night. As Evan looks up across the timeline, brings it to Kakla. Over right wing goes to Mitchell. Mitchell looks into wanting to find that time. Rotten ball knocked away, stolen by Dinius. Then Restet has a pass up court knocked away from him. It ends up out of bounds. Last touch by Candu. So two turnovers on the Cubs, one by Langdon that time. And Candu wants to call a timeout. 3.24 to play in the third quarter, 57 to 26. All Cubs, they lead by 31, and we're back in a minute. All right, get to go here as we uh, continue on here in this third quarter. Jeremy Dinius, a pass to Chris Reston, off his hand, stolen by Aaron Mitchell, all the way down. The Cubs put it in. Mitchell with five. And the Cubs continue to roll. 59 to 26 now the score. Three minutes to go in the third quarter. Right side plots if it has Lindahl out there with the defender. It tries to reverse layup. No good. Blocked out of bounds is the shot by Lindahl. As the Cardinals to throw it in beneath their hoop to do so is Corey Lawrence. Lawrence looks in right side, wanting to go Dinius. Up top of the key, it's Pirius with it on the pass, goes right side to Lawrence. Corey Lawrence in the lane, tough 12 footer up and too hard. Rebound taken out by Brandon Martz. Well, the Cardinals just nothing going right for them here this evening. Up now, do the Cubs get it to Lindahl? Pass inside to Broughton. Broughton can't find it from 12. Bounce pass up top of the key to Martz. Wide open for a tray, and that's too hard. Rebound taken down, comes into the hands of Chris Rested. Rested, a pass up court to Lawrence. Lawrence, nice quick move into the hole, and he will put it in. Corey Lawrence with 14. That breaks a huge run by the Cubs. 59 to 28 down the score. Can't do back across with it. Broughton free throw line down. Left to right corner, I should say. It's Lindahl from 17. Shot no good. Rebound taken by Brandon Marks. Back up and good. Brandon Marks with his first two of the night. 61 to 28 with 203 to play in the third quarter. Cubs on top, as left side with it. It goes plots to Pirius. Pirius from 19 will put it up and in. Chad Pirius just inside the arc. He's got uh, six, that's his first basket tonight, 61 to 30. A 31 point lead for Candu as Langdon coming to Candu coming up court a steal by the Cardinals, what we meant to say. Lawrence comes away with it. And Lawrence is gonna be fouled by Martz going to the rack. And the foul on Martz will be his second. Only three team fouls though against the Cubs. As Casey Wilhelm, he'll check back in for Langdon. Rested will come out for Candu. It'll be Gibbons, Shock, and Kakla coming in. Coming off Lindahl, Mitchell, and Martz. Langdon inbound beneath their own hoop as Lawrence bounce pass in, and it comes left side, goes in there to Pirius. Pirius dribbles around one defender, dribbles around two defenders. Tough shot going off on down to the floor, and it won't go. Rebound comes out to Broughton. Broughton the outlet pass to Darren Shock. Shock behind him, wanting to find Burrish, who also just checked in for the Cubs with the ball stolen away. Taken there by Wilhelmy, all the way down, layup is good. Casey Wilhelmy with six, and it's 61 to 32. Again, the Cubs still just a rolling, but Langdon trying to come back a bit here in this third quarter. As Bob Rotten again comes across the half line, gets it to Kakla, and Zach drives down inside for a hoop. Zach Kakla with seven. 
63-32, just over a minute to play. Here the Cubs leading by 31. As Langdon, right side blocks down to the corner, Pirius. Chad drives in, goes free throw line, trying to get around, goes left corner, goes to fly a three, that's up, rolls off, rebound taken down, and taken by Broughton. Broughton up court to shot, quick pass to Kekla. Kekla gets around, Pirius shot no good, but a foul, blocking foul is gonna be called against Chad Pirius. On Chad, that's gonna be his third. Four team fouls against the Cardinals. And shots in the line now by Zach Kekla with 46 seconds to play in the third. Again, folks, both teams coming into three losses on the night, but it has been all Cubs, 63 to 32. Kekla shot for the lineup and good. Zach is a 5'10 sophomore. Steve Ringel checked back in for Langdon. Steve has seen time tonight, he's, but he's seen a lot of foul trouble as well. He's playing at four. As Plotz will come out, Ring comes in. Also checking in is Chris Rastad for the Cardinals. And Jeremy Dinius will come out. Second shot by Kakla. It's on the way. That's good. Zach Kakla makes it 65 to 32. Can do. As Pirius dribbles up, goes down to the corner to Rastad. Rastad looks into Ring. Comes up on top, brings it to Pirius. Lob pass in, they find Ring. Ring turns around, goes up against Broughton. Shot no good, it's short from seven. Rebound Gibbons. Gibbons up court to Broughton. A bounce pass over to Kekla. Kekla back to Broughton. Lonnie to pass to Kekla. Just does get it to him between two Langdon defenders. Ball rotated over left side. It's Burrish from three-point land. He's been on fire from there tonight. He puts another one in the hole. Steve Burrish a three. From beyond the arc, and he's got 15. 68 to 32 is the score. Candu on top by 36 points with five seconds to go in the quarter. Langdon will try to get a shot off in the left corner. Will Hummy does, but it's short for 19. And that will end things in the third quarter. The story continues for the Cubs here in the Candu Gymnasium. They continue to roll over Langdon. 68 to 32, Cubs on top of the Cardinals. After three, he'll start the final eight minutes in 60 seconds. Good to go for the fourth quarter. Just a wild scene uh, down in the can-do end. Chris Resthead and Chad Pierius bumped into each other going after a loose ball, and Resthead finally dived, and it ends up out of bounds to Candu. Candu's got it right corner. It's Gibbons looking for Martz inside. Martz loses the ball. It's it knocked away. Now well, off his thigh, they will say, is that'll be a turnover against Candu. That's their tenth of the night. Candu outscoring length in the third quarter, 29 to 12. Up top of the key, Lawrence with it for the Cardinals. Looks inside, double team, goes off to Ring. Ring, shot from 12, good. Steve Ring with six, but again, 68 to 34. A 34 point can do Cubs lead tonight. As the Cubs get it all the way down, court break pressure, long pass down to Ryan Gibbons, who gets behind the defense and gets a quick hoop. Gibbons with eight. Lawrence across the timeline for the Cardinals, brings it back with his team trailing 70 to 34. Lays it up on top of the key, Furious. Pirius looks for the pick and roll with Ring. He's, Ring's got the pass and he's gonna be fouled. Turn into the hoop. The foul will come up against Aaron Mitchell. It'll be Aaron's second. Only 14 fouls though against the Cubs. 14 fouls either way right now. Then Langdon will bring in four substitutions into the game. Matt Benedict, Josh Ropel, Jeremy Dinius and also coming in. There's Sean Power into the game. Sean, a 6-1 sophomore for the Cardinals. The Cardinals will inbound beneath their hoop. Jeremy Dinius to look inside, wanting to find Pirius, and Pirius is going to be fouled. By Tyler Johnson, who just checked back into the game for Kandu. He's That's his fifth, or the fifth team foul, I should say. Johnson's third. I guess if he had five, he wouldn't be there anymore, would he? Langdon inbound beneath their hoop. Dinius gets it to Pirius on the left wing. Pirius looks into Ropel. Big Josh has it, turns in on Gibbons. Gibbons rejects Ropel's shot. They have a 6.50 to go. Gibbons comes away with the basketball. Goes right side, goes to Martz. Martz ahead fake down to the baseline he goes. Gets a pass left side, goes to Lindahl. Lindahl dribbles up, takes one from 14. Shot no good, but a foul is going to come up on Gibbons coming over the back of Matt Benedict. So the foul on Gibbons 
will be his second. 16 fouls now against Candu. Langdon will have it back. Again, 70 to 34, Candu on top with 640 left to play. Cardinals across, John Power with it, right wing. Up on top, it goes to Dinius. Jeremy from three-point land, that's too hard. Rebound taken out by Lindahl, and Lindahl is going to be fouled by Benita. Or perhaps that could be Dinius, too. Both of them in on the play. It is going to be against Matt Benita, though, his second. Five team fouls against the Cardinals. Mitchell on the inbounds. It comes to Brandon Martz. Tyler Johnson up top of the key for Candu. Goes to Lindahl. 6.19 to go. Left side, Martz. March of the dribbles free throw line up on top of the key to Gibbons. Inside, Lindahl. Lindahl turns on Ropel, takes one from 12. No good. Rebound comes out to Tyler Johnson. Johnson up on top, goes to Gibbons. Gibbons pulls it down by the half line. And in the corner, goes off to Lindahl. And Candy wants to call a timeout. 6.04 left to play. 70 to 34. A 36-point Cubs lead. And we're back with more at Hot 95.7 in 60 seconds. So we don't use, mean to use a punt at Darren Shock, but 70 to 34, the score is Darren Shock actually shooting a three-pointer now. Candu on top by 36, his three-pointer short. Rebound, Sean Power for the Cardinals. Up top of the key, Purius. Left side, Power quickly into Ropel. Ropel to Purius. He'll fly a three. That's on the way. That's short. Rebound taken out by Lindahl. Lindahl up court to Brandon Martz. Langdon still without a three-pointer tonight, and that's not to say they haven't attempted any. Martz goes back into Shock. Shock has his shot blocked by Power. Ball about a man's last touch by the Cardinals. And it'll stay the Cubs' direction. 540 to play, still 70 to 34. Mart slicks her a pass in, goes to Lindahl. Lindahl shot rejected by Benita. Benita got up to block a shot of Lindahl. And the ball ends up in the hands of Pirius. Pirius up top of the key, goes back to Matt Benita. Matt turns on Lindahl. His shot no good, but a foul will come to Evan Lindahl. And the foul will be Evan's second. 17 fouls, and Benita now to go to the line for two shots. Matt 2 2 from the line this evening. So now 5.30 to play. As Bennett is first shot from the lineup and good. That'll bring Langdon back to within 70 to 35. The score as checking in. Zach Kakla comes back in for Candy. Brandon Martz will check out. Second shot is up and good by Benita. He's now four fourth in the line. That's where all four of his points have come from. And Candu lead, Candu's lead is down to 70 to 36. Comes with the back left side, Tyler Johnson. Over right side of Kakla. He'll fly one up from three-point land. His foot might have been in the line. I believe that's what Dan Schneidel is going to call one of our referees tonight. But still two from Kakla. And it's 72 to 36. Up top of the key goes Pirius. Right side brings it to Dinius. Top of the key, Sean Power. Just over five minutes to play. Right side, Dinius. He'll fly a three. That's on the way. That's too hard. Rebound Power inside. Power's 13-footer won't go. And clearing it off is Evan Lindahl. Lindahl bringing the ball up court himself, and Bennett tries, comes up, tries to get a steal from behind, can't quite do it. Left side, candu has got it anyway. Darren Schock up top of the key to Tyler Johnson, to Lindahl free throw line. Nice dish off to Schock, got a beautiful spin move to the hoop by Darren Schock, he's got it. He now is 13. And it's 74 to 36, 4.35 to play. Candu on top, free throw line, Purius looks inside for Ropel, and Purius gonna be fouled, trying to get the pass inside to Big Josh Ropel. Foul will come to Darren Schock. On Darren, his second. Bob Rotten, Steve Burrish, Ryan Gibbons all will check back in for Candu as Evan Lindahl, Aaron Mitchell. And Tyler Johnson will come out for the Cubs. To the line will go Chad Pirius. Chad will try one of the chance for two. And his first shot's up and good. Seven points for Pirius, 74 to 37. Second shot's up and good. 4.32 to play. Cubs coming up court. Steve Burrish goes over left side, brings it there to Kakla. Kakla over to Burrish. Down to the corner. It goes to Gibbons. Bounce pass inside to Shock. Shock looks for room. Comes up top of the key instead to Kakla. Right side Burrish. He'll fly a three where he's been godlike from there all night, but this one's going to be short. Rebound taken off left wing by Kakla, however, and can do retain possession. 4.10 to play here in the game. 74 to 38, can do. As inside it comes up now, up top of the key, kicked out to Kekla. He'll fly a three, it's up and it's no good. Rebound taken off by Benita. Benita gets it out to Pirius. Pirius, top of the key. Left side, Dinius, who has the ball go off his hands and out of bounds. Langdon will turn it over. 
Just less than four minutes to go now. Can do. We'll try it again. Z inbounds comes to Kakla. And he'll bring it across the timeline for the Cubs. In the corner, it's Gibbons. On a wing, it comes to Burrish. Back to Ryan Gibbons up top of the key. But then it's Kakla. Lands it in a 2 3 zone. Left corner, it comes to Broughton. Ball rotated inside now on the right wing. It comes to Burrish. This time he'll fake a three. Drive free throw line. 15 footer, no good, but a foul. He's going to come up and Burrish will go to the line. Foul to Jeremy Dinius. Foul to Jeremy will be his second. Got 16 fouls against Langa, but that's uh, inconsequential now because it's a shooting foul into the line. We'll move Steve Burrish to try two shots. Steve is not, uh, I should take that back. He has missed one free throw tonight. He's 0 for 1. And his first shot's up on the way and good. 14 points for Steve Burrish tonight. Got the starting nod this evening. Second shot's no good. Rebound comes off to Ropel. Josh Ropel, the outlet to Chad Perius. Perius left side to Dinius up top of the key to power. Inside to Ropel. Ropel turns around on shock. Shot goes off the glass. High at the back arm for 12. It's good. Josh Ropel with his hoop, of the first hoop, I should say, of the night. 75 to 40. Still a 35 point can do lead. Up top of the key with it is Kankla down left wing. It comes to Broughton. To Zach Kankla. To Broughton, quick pass in, it goes to Jacques. Trying to get a pass out to Kankla, does so. Right side, it comes Burrish. Three minutes to go in the corner to Jacques. As Darren Jacques gets it, a quick pass to Burrish, back to Jacques. Inside, it goes to Broughton. Touch pass back out to Jacques. Oh, five, three, and it's in the hole. Darren Jacques, his second three-pointer of the night, and it's 78 to 40. 2.40 to play. Up top of the key with it is Perius. And Perius a drop blocking foul against Shock trying to go over the left wing. Darren Shock is third personal. And one of the chance for two at the line by Chad Perius. Garrett Illibrand is going to come in for the Cardinals here in a moment. The first Tyler Johnson checks back in for Candu coming off is going to be Darren Shock. Gets a nice hand for the Candu faithful tonight. Chad Perius to shoot one and Perhaps one more. He's six of six on the line tonight. And we had to hex him because he just missed. Rebound comes out, however, to Matt Bennett. Uh, Bennett, a uh, shot blocked. But they're going to call a foul on Broughton. Yeah, the foul on Bobby Broughton will be his second. Now to the line will step Matt Bennett. Get will move. To 15 and 3 after tonight's game. Langdon will move to 16 and 3. And some more substitutions now coming in for both teams. <laughs> Ryan Gibbons will come out. It's Riley Birch will check in. Riley's a six foot junior. As Bennett has first shot no good. His second one goes in. Matt Bennett a one out of two from the line. 78 to 41. A 37 point lead for the Cubs. Down left corner of it, Riley Birch. Birch goes inside and Finds Johnson, ball rotated over right side to Kakla. Bounce pass and it goes into uh, Tyler Johnson. Top of the key, Burrish, he'll fly into the three, and that's gonna roll off. Rebound kicked out by Broughton. And Illibrin had it, then he's gonna be fouled by Illibrin, the shot to the line, he puts them both through. 78 to 43. Can't do to come back, and Burrish with it, goes over right side, Cubs. Rotating it around, it's just over two minutes to play. 78 to 43, again, Candu leading. By three is Riley Birch, gonna be called for traveling, trying to go to the hoop. And Langdon will get it back with exactly two minutes to go. As Illibrin looks inside for Ropel, he's got it off the glass of six, no good. Rebound taken out by Power, his shot won't go. Ropel with the rebound, his shot won't go, but he's fouled. Couple of first shots up and good. Josh, a three. Second shot's going to be a little hard. Almost bounces around and drops through. No good, though. And the rebound comes off to Power. His first layup, no good. His second layup's no good. David Trelevin had the ball, and he loses it. Knocked out of bounds. Dinius on the right side goes to Illibrin. Illibrin dribbles up, goes down to the lane. Nice move by Garrett Illibrin to get the hoop. As he dribbles around a couple of defenders, he has four. 78 to 46. A buck and a half left to go. Kandrew on top. Bounce pass right side, and the Cubs get it down to the right corner. Looking to pass it inside. A pass goes inside to Olsen, up top of the key to Burrish. Left side, Tyler Johnson. As the Cubs get it back over right side, and a shot from 12, no good, and a foul on the rebound. 
John actually 6-2 sophomore. First shot's up and good. And now Sean Power to shoot his second. That's on the way. That's no good. Rebound taken down by Aaron Mitchell. Aaron to bring it up for Kandu. Goes over left side to Tyler Johnson. Ball to Tyler Olson at the free throw line. Dribbles it off his foot, but right into the hands of Mitchell. 108 to go. Inside, they go to Olson. And Tyler Olson with his first two of the night. 80 to 47 in the minute to play. Kandu again on top. Inside line, it comes right back. Josh Rope will get in a pass inside. He'll get a quick hoop. He's got five. And it's 80 to 49. As it comes right side, Mitchell, 46 seconds to play. Mitchell dribbles down baseline, takes a 12-footer, no good. Rebound comes off to Sean Power. Quick outlet to Garrett Illibrand. Illibrand up top of the key. Pass into Ropel. Ropel triple team gets a pass back out to Dinius. 30 seconds to go. Down tree, Levin gets a nice quick pass to Ropel. He's off balance, he'll try a six-footer shot, no good. Rebound comes out to Tyler Olson. Olson comes up against Tree Levin, dribbles around him, then loses the ball. On the ground, it goes to Dinius. 20 seconds left. Cardinals coming up with a blocking foul. First shot's up and good. Is that? Second shot is up and good. 80 to 51. Back on the Cubs. 15 seconds to go. Pass up court right side, and they pass in. It goes to Tyler Johnson as the ball knocked away. It comes right side, Aaron Mitchell. They rotate it left side. Tyler Olson. To Johnson, five seconds to go. Johnson back to Olsen, top of the key, he'll go. And the shot there is gonna be broken up, stolen away by Dinius, and that'll end it. Boy, Cardu impressively defeats Langdon, 80 to 51.